In one of our recent chats here about playing with a short stack, the topic came up that, you know, not all short stacks are built the same, where, you know, your short stack might be black chips and black chips break down to greens. Or your short stack could be green chips, which of course break down into reds. And if your short stack is only at the red level, you have nowhere to go. So you're kind of stuck with that level of chip. And I think that changes the way that we play with and plan to play with whatever short stack we have. So with that said, here's that discussion that we had about playing with a short stack at different chip sizes. Hope you enjoy it. If, if, if you're playing with a higher bankroll, and let's assume that we are playing here. Let's do, um, so that's two, four. Let's say you're playing with a $5,000 bankroll. Okay, here's 5,000 in purple chips, all right? Let's say that was your bankroll. And let's say that your goal was 20%. 20% of 5,000 is 1,000, right? Let's say that through the course of play, you won, let's just say 500 bucks. Okay, we won 500 bucks during the course of play. You're, you made your 5,000, win your 500, right? Through whatever. Maybe you did some kind of a ladder system. Maybe you did whatever, you, it doesn't matter what you did. You earned 500 bucks and you could say, well, I'm almost to goal. I'm halfway to my goal. This 500 is now your short stack. If you're a huge better at this level, 500 is now your short stack. Now, I've been playing short stacks here, 500 and let's say 65 bucks, right? Let's say you had, let's just do that same ratio. Let's say you had 650. It's the same thing. 500 to 5,000, 65 to 650, it's, it just adds zeros. It's the exact same ratio here. But at this level, with the 650 as your short stack, here, all I, the best I can do is bet one nickel or two nickels somewhere. You have to bet table minimum. Here, I can break this down into this and have a bunch of greens. Now my short stack has many chips in it. I can break the, the 600 down into green chips and now I can do aggressive play here. I can take this and go 160 across four times. I can take this and I can do a ladder system. I can play the TB12 hammering the, the, the hard ways. I can do lots more with this short stack than with this short stack because here I can break it down. I can go from six black chips to 60 or to um, 24 green chips and have much more options than I do here with this short stack. I'm choosing for our purposes to play with tiny money, right? We're playing with teeny tiny amounts right here because it's hard, because it's hard. I wanna make this difficult. I wanna make each one of these bets count for so much that I have to work to make this work, right? And if I can turn 65 or 60 bucks into 100 over and over and over again, if I can reliably make $65, $100 in profit with whatever I'm doing here, then that means I can make 600 into 1,000 over and over and over again. Whatever I'm doing here that works will work when I add zeros too, right? So I'm making it purposefully hard on us to think about how can you turn this short stack of chips that you can't break down any further into money. But remember, when you add zeros to things, you have more options and more time on your side. The more zeros you have, the more time you can make it if you break the bets down, okay? So that's the reason for breaking this thing down. And I wanna make sure I called that out because the other day I made a statement that you can't ladder with a short stack and you can't ladder with this short stack. This short stack here, too small. There's not enough chips here to make any kind of a ladder system work. However, this short stack here, again, with many, many, many chips in it, $600 in green chips, now you can do more aggressive things and take your time and turn this 600 into 1,000 by a different strategy. This, this could be laddered, this cannot be laddered. It's just, just, I can't break them down. And so to do anything that's gonna take time and require a bigger bankroll, if you're gonna play with only your short stack, you're limiting yourself. So again, I leave this here, the 500, as a visual to remind you, this was my starting bankroll, I'm not going back to it unless I lose all of this and then we restart the whole process. So hope that makes good sense to you, okay?